I just found a brand new AI tool that lets you build and run AI agents without having a complex setup, having to connect multiple tools, or dealing with petty security concerns. In fact, this is the best enterprise level AI agent builder that I've found yet. And the best part is it doesn't have a complicated setup and it's good for beginners. So you could literally start building your first AI agent in minutes. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this tool is, how you could use it, and I'm gonna share with you a few use cases that show off just how powerful this tool is. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is Area because they make it incredibly easy for you to be able to build out your agents and see everything all from one dashboard. And again, this is very enterprise friendly. It doesn't matter if you're a small to medium sized business or if you're a large business, you are going to love this because out of the box, it gives you everything that you need and your team need in order to actually build out secure AI agents. And there are two ways that you could actually do this. We could come over into a project right here and we could click on new project and then we could come over here and name it. For example, I'm going to name this legal compliance. If we wanted to make a legal compliance agent, I'm gonna come over here, call this compliance agent. We're gonna click on create. And then from here, this is going to bring us in to where we can actually build out the agents here. And we could see that all you have to do is click on add new agent right here. And then everything that we have right here, we could see all from one view. We could see the agents that are built out in this project, all the models used, the data sources, the prompts, the user prompts, any memories that it has, knowledge graph, and we can even control MCPs and tools and agents here. In addition to that, they also have templates over here. So they have templates literally for everything that you could think of, education, tech, finance, legal, general, and they even have over a thousand different templates and different agents to explore. So if we come over here, we're going to click on legal for the sake of this video, and we are going to build out a compliance reporting strategist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here. We could see what this is actually powered by, what it's supported by, where it's ready to be used. We could see a description. And then all we have to do to actually set this up is click on use agent and then click on import agent right here. And then this is going to go ahead and this is going to import this into whatever project we actually want to. So I'm going to click on legal compliance. We'll come over to import right here. And then from here, we just have to go to take me to the builder. And this literally walks you through when you use a template exactly what to do because they have notes here and everything is already built out. So we could see exactly how this is gonna work. The user is going to message us and provide any files that will be processed in the past to the next operation. Then we have this AI model over here. So this actually goes through and provides instructions here. We could come through and customize this. And then we're going to get some type of output over here. Now, in order to actually mess with this, there are a few things that we could do. One, if we wanted to add in additional things, for example, maybe flow control, you would be able to do all of that over here. In fact, you could choose from different AI models, different data sources, different tools, flow control, memory, agents, code blockers, and data formatters. So this is very easy for you to just be able to drag and drop this. You would just drag this right here, drag it over, and then boom, you could go ahead and actually connect things. But we don't have to do that for the sake of this video. So what we see right here is that we have text input. So users will be able to chat with this. And then from here, we have an AI model that's actually going to go through. And we could see that if we come into available models right here, if we wanted to, we could change this model. So this is model agnostic. We could come over here on use different model, and we can actually choose through a bunch of different models that are going to be available to us. And as you can see over here, there's literally 108 different models that can actually be used here. So they have everything. They have all the GPT models, the Gemini models, Flux models, DeepSeek, everything that you could think of. For the sake of this, we're gonna stick with GPT-4.1 here. And now we can come over here and we can see what the prompt that's actually being used here is. So we could come over here and we could edit this if we wanted to, but otherwise we could see that you are a compliance reporting strategist and advanced AI powered specialist in analyzing regulatory compliance. And we could go through and actually read this and change this if we wanted to. In addition to that, if we wanted to add in our own custom segment, we could do that right here. So if you were doing this for a finance company, or you were doing this for a health company or insurance company, you could come over here and specialize this however you want so you have full customization here. In addition to that, we can come over here and add in specific guardrails. 
I'll give you a perfect example here. I have a client that sells GLP-1s, peptides, things like that. When he builds out his agents, he needs to make sure that he has guardrails in place to make sure that it doesn't recommend anything or say anything that he can't do because of compliance. If you have that for your business, you could very easily add these in right here, or you could come over here and add in tools. For example, this is using the Brave Search MCP, and we could see it's already authenticated here, but if we wanted to add in other MCPs, we'd be able to come in here and just add them in. And again, if you want to see all the different MCP services that are available, they have access to tons of different things. In fact, over 18 different things. For example, HubSpot or Notion, or if you want to connect this to Snowflake or Stripe or Slack, you would be able to do that. In addition to that, they also have over 105 different tools that you can add in here. For example, the ability to generate documents or the ability to load memory or store memory. You could go through this and see all the different things that they have. And then once this is actually set up, we could come over here and we could click on test up here. And then we can actually test what this agent looks like. For example, I'm gonna say, are there any new crypto regulations I need to be aware of? And then we could come over here and then this will actually go through and execute the agent flow and we'll be able to see the output here. And we could see exactly what this looks like right here. Now we can see from here that this went through and this did a bunch of different searches here. So it gives me key crypto regulatory trends. If we scroll down, we can actually see what to do as a result of this. And then it also gives me actionable recommendations. And again, the more that you fill out in terms of knowledge, in terms of memory, the better that this is going to get. And if you wanted to, you could clear the chat, you could exit this, or you could publish this right from here. And you can even come into here and add in things like backup agents, you could add in action items. You can change what the interface looks like here. For example, you could have a chat interface or an API interface, which is pretty awesome here. Now, if we come back over into the platform, you're going to be able to see that you can do a few other things in here. For example, you can add in evaluations if you wanted to. Basically, this is a way for you to be able to evaluate your agents and make sure that they're responding correctly across tons of different criteria all at one time. In addition to that, you can come over here and see all the different components that you have between all the models, all the different prompts that are available, MCP servers, tools. You can come over here and load through a bunch of different user prompts, which makes it really easy for you to be able to do those custom evals. And then in addition to that, you can see that you have a bunch of different feeds here. So you can see agent executions, conversations, so that you can actually stay on top of this. In addition to that, you can add in data sources from all over. They have file upload, box, drive, email, anything that you could think of across your organization, you'll be able to add in here. Now, there are three other things that I really want to make sure that I emphasize with this. If we come over here into data retention, you can see that you can retain data for a certain amount of time and you could limit access to conversation history, user prompts, all things like that, which is great here. And if you come into people, you'll be able to see that you can very easily edit what people have access to, where they can actually access things, and what their role is inside of here. In addition to that, if you come into audit logging, you can log everything and it's already done automatically straight out of the box which really makes this great for enterprise agent solutions especially if you're going to have multiple people in here accessing multiple things and if some of that data is going to actually be important in addition to that they automatically encrypt everything and they use best practices when it comes to agent to agent and mcp security which allows you to see things like change detection controls and do sandboxing very efficient oh and the other thing I did want to show you, if we come over here and scroll down, you'll be able to access a community right here, which is where you can see a bunch of different templates. You could go through a bunch of different education around this, and you can interact with other people that are using this to share best practices and things that you've learned. Now, before I show you a few other use cases that you could use this for, I wanted to remind you to go to the pinned comment below and sign up for a free trial today with Aria so that you could build out your first AI agent. Now, use case number one here is that they have a ton of different things around finance that I really love. For example, if we come over here and we type in something like credit risk, we could see that they have a credit risk scoring agent, they have a credit risk scoring guide, they have a credit risk scoring coach, they have tons of different things around this. So if we click into this, we could see that this is an AI agent that swiftly analyzes an applicant's financial history and behavioral data in order to predict the likelihood that they're going to repay their loan. This 
is crazy that this can actually leverage machine learning algorithms and deliver accurate risk assessments in order to actually aid lenders in making confident data-driven decisions. Now, if we come over here and we import this agent, I wanna show you again what this actually looks like. So we're gonna import this right here. We're gonna say, take me to the builder right here. And then we can see what this actually looks like. And again, you can hook this up. If you have your own internal metrics or your own internal guardrails or your own internal memory, guess what? You can hook all of this up over here and we could see that this agent is very easily able to do that. In addition to that, we could see all the different variables that this has in here very easily. And if we wanted to, we could change this to be vertical or horizontal depending on however you actually wanted to view it. But the main thing that I wanted to call out here is that they have a ton of different use cases around finance. And then again, we could come over here and we could test this and we could see that very easily we're able to upload files in here, which make this incredibly useful for anyone in finance. But I don't want you to think that that's only useful for finance because if we come over here and type in patient, we can see that there are tons of these related to health. For example, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type in patient intake. And then what we are gonna see are a bunch of different things here. For example, a system assessment summarizer. This is an AI agent that very quickly reviews patient symptom inputs and then generates a concise, clinically relevant summary for healthcare professionals. Again, we could come over here, we could click on use agent right here, we can import this in here. And I want you to think about this. This right here can go through and when somebody comes in to see you in your office or in the hospital or wherever you're seeing them, this is where their symptoms can get put in and then you're walking in the room actually having an idea of what is going on. In addition to that, if we import this into the project, go to the builder again, I want to then show you something here because you can hook this up to different tools. Let's say that you have a CRM or a patient management system and it has all of their allergies in there. It has all of their blood work. It has all of their past stuff. Guess what? You can now feed this into this agent right here so it has full context into everything and very easily you will be able to know exactly what you're walking into and they have a ton of these in the healthcare space. In addition to that, I know I brought it up earlier, but I really wanted to double down on this. They have a ton of these in terms of legal. We're gonna click on view all right here. They have compliance reporting, like I showed you earlier. They have GDPR compliance advisory. They have patent filing helper agent. They have a case law navigator agent, a fraud risk language detector, which is insane. This can literally go through and have an AI agent that analyzes text to identify and find language patterns in the give of potential fraud or deceptive intent. Again, you can hook this up to all of your different tools, have these agents running all the time, they're secure, they're enterprise ready, and if you're doing those types of use cases, you are going to love this. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven other AI tools that I personally can't live without. I'll see you over there.